A lot of people think that engineering and business are always looking in different directions. And maybe they're right. But Babcock place a major emphasis on multidisciplinary work, projects that require both engineering and management skills. Graduate Tunde Ulaoye found himself on just such a project. He was tasked with adding value to Babcock's £170 million contract managing the Ministry of Defence's estate. The perfect example of a Babcock graduate using their initiative and increasing efficiency right from the off. So we were looking at energy because the MOD have obviously got a lot of problems at the moment and reducing the amount of energy they're using is a key part of their strategy. We met a chef and she told us that she's got this extraction system which is basically left on from 8 o'clock till 4 o'clock and when she stops cooking she gets all these drafts rushing through and that's when I got this eureka moment thinking that oh why don't we put control systems on it? Why are we using so much energy extracting air when we don't need to? So we looked at lasers that detect the amount of smoke that's going into the extraction system so it knows when to extract more if there's more smoke. Looked at like CO2 sensors to detect how much CO2 is in the air and whether it needs to suck up more. Or temperature sensors if it gets too hot obviously the fans need to go more. And that was quite an interesting way to look at it because it's not always about bringing new plants into it. Sometimes it's just about how you control that. Another part we looked at is the water flow. Because you use so much water in a kitchen for boiling, washing your hands, you constantly turn the tap on. And a normal tap uses about eight litres per second. So this wastes a phenomenal amount of energy and also water to heat that. So we looked at low flow water devices. It maintains the pressure, but you get a lot lower flow. So you can get about two litres, three litres per second. And that starts to add up over the years. And that's what we started to really focus our energy on. The little things that made the difference. For me it was a really good project because you got to implement some of our design changes and we've really shown that energy efficiency kitchen has got a lot of legwork. There's lots of room for improvement. There's always room to save energy in any job you're doing. So once you start looking at a job, always consider the energy factor because that's a pressing thing in the 21st century. And the transition from uni life to work life has been good. I think it's good being given that responsibility to manage projects that are worth up to a million pounds sometimes and they expect you to deliver. And I think that gives you a sense of worth and value to be able to deliver those.